Ohio can boast its share of courageous women and those who broke down barriers for all women. One of those is Jerry Mock, the first woman to successfully complete a solo flight around the world. And now the Newark native is being honored in her hometown. Joining with more on the celebration is Craig Montgomery. He's the history director of the works in Newark. Hi, Craig. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Good to be here. I, I am ashamed to admit that I had never heard of Jerry Mock before you coming on the show. What a fascinating woman. What, what about her story, her flight? Well, again, in 1964, she was the first woman to fly solo around the world. Uh, it's a, a pretty remarkable tale. Uh, this was a day before GPS and sophisticated communication equipment, uh, and, and she overcame mechanical failures and bad weather and uh, just relied on her skills and courage and accomplished that, that goal in 1964. Now the community is honoring her, and they're actually erecting a statue. There's a ceremony coming up. What is, when is that going to happen, Craig? That happens on Saturday, September the 14th, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it's going to be a great day, a lot of energy, uh, and, and we're going to unveil publicly for the first time uh, her statue that will sit in our courtyard. So. Why the works? Well, an important part of our mission is to preserve Newark history and the people from Newark that have made history and to share that story. Uh, and, and Jerry's story is certainly worthy of being shared. I think she's a tremendous role model, uh, especially for young women today. Uh, and, and we're very proud of her that she came from the community. And, you know, unfortunately, she's been invited, but she will uh, be unable to attend. Am I right, Craig? No, she will not be there. She lives out of state. Uh, she is older and won't be able to attend. Uh, her sister will be there, however, Susan Reed, who still lives locally, and she's going to help with the unveiling. What was Jerry's reaction finding out that there is going to be a statue erected in her honor? She's very excited about <laughs> it. We've, we've spoken to her on the phone. She sent us a very lovely letter. Uh, and it's my understanding she's going to communicate with us prior to the event on the 14th, the staff, oh, good. And some other important folks. And, and yeah, she's very excited to see the statue up and be recognized after all these years. You, you know, people hear about Amelia Earhart and all those earlier um, women aviators, but there were many that followed her. And I'm not sure that many people realize it wasn't until 64 that that first flight was made, that solo flight. Right, and, and I think it was one of those things that just kind of slipped by. Uh, and, and Jerry was sort of a, a bored housewife. Uh, she, she flew and was looking for something to do, and her husband and Jess said, well, why don't you fly around the world? And so she did. <laughs> She's a bored housewife, so <laughs> she decided to fly around the world. Uh, you better ask Jerry about that. She may have a different explanation. Most bored housewives don't hop in a plane and go, let's see if I can do this. But the, the cool thing is it sort of goes in line with all of Ohio's history of aviation. You know, you think about John Glenn and Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong. Go back to the Wright, Wright brothers. brothers. Absolutely, yeah, she fits right in. Uh, with Ohio's history, and, and we're, we're absolutely proud to put her in her place along all the men that have gotten the recognition. <laughs> so. One more time about this ceremony. Can anybody be invited, and is it open to the public? It is open to the public. Again, it's Saturday, September the 14th at 2 o'clock. Uh, it's a, a free dedication in the, our courtyard. Uh, it's going to be a, a great day. There's going to be a representative from Governor Kasich's office there. Senator Portman will be there. Again, her sister will be there to help with the unveiling. We'll have some refreshments. It's just going to be a lot of fun. It is wonderful that it is going to be at the Works, Craig, as you said, which is a history museum. I mean, it also offers other things, but there is a history component to the Works. Kind of makes sense that you're going to have that in, in your courtyard. Absolutely. We, we are a museum of local history, uh, and, and Jerry being a Newark native and graduating from Newark High School in 1943, uh, again, she's going to take her place in our our museum as well, where she deserves to be. And hopefully for pe people for years to come will come and be inspired by, by her story and statue. How can you not be? Would you, uh, thank you very much, Craig, for bringing us Jerry's story <laughs> and the fact that you're going to finally honor her. I'm sure the city of Newark is excited as well. Well, everybody is very excited about the event. So it's going to be well attended. Uh, it's, it's unique. This is a, a fly-in or drive-in event. <laughs> if you're a private aviator, you can fly into the Newark Heath Airport and be shuttled in as well. So. Thank you, Craig. Good luck on the event. Thank you.